What's up, everybody? It's your boy Pete, Mail Pack Box. Just wanted to hop in with another quick little video. Um, it's Thursday. I hope everybody's doing all right. Getting ready for um, the big 4th of July weekend. And um, we getting ready for some big fights we got coming up. Um, first off, Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. Now, I just want to talk about this a little bit, man. Um, I'm a I'm, De I'm a Deontay Wilder fan, definitely. You know, I do respect Tyson Fury for his boxing skill, but I'm not a fan. But I am a Wilder fan, and um, since he's resurfaced and his fight has been announced, it's been a lot of different talks about Deontay Wilder, you know, a lot of different fighters saying different things, um, as of late, you know, you had Andre Ward making some comments about Deontay Wilder, you had Tim Bradley making comments about Deontay Wilder, um, Chris Colbert making comments about Wilder, um, and you have other guys too just making like positive comments about Wilder, like, you know, Amanda Holyfield, who kind of acknowledged this. Something, something was wrong in the second fight. You know what I'm saying? He said, a man, boxing skills do not diminish that quick from one fight. You know what I'm saying? You don't perform at that level, and then the next level, you don't even know how to box anymore. So, um, you know, you have people on both sides of the fence when it comes to Deontay Wilder. And you know, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna get into a whole bunch of debates. We'll see on the 24th what happens, man. That's the only way we'll get to the bottom of this. Um, I'm super excited for this fight. And I get what some people are saying, but I'm gonna always ride with, with, with my people, to be honest. And I'm riding with Deontay Wilder, not just because he's my people, that's one reason, but I, I, I like him. He's one of the realest, more realer fighters in, in the game. You know what I'm saying? It speaks from the heart, in my opinion. So that resonates with a lot of people, you know, boxing fans. But um, we're going to see how it all plays out in July. You know, like I said, I'm riding with the Bronze Bomber day one. I've been a fan a long time ago. You know, you got people who just hop on. they bandwagon fans or whatever. But, you know, I pick people when I kind of ride out with them. I've been riding with Tank Davis from day one. Now... Everybody says, oh, he's a star, he's this, he's that. But, you know, I've been rocking with him from day one. I'm rocking with Terrence Crawford from day one, Earl Spence from day one, you know, Deontay Wilder day one, all these these, these guys that are turning out to be elite fighters. I've been rocking with them from day one. So, um, I don't know, man. Let me know what y'all think about all the Wilder and Fury talk. You know, at the end of the day, no matter what happens, I feel like this fight is just going to be another special fight. There's so much surrounding this fight, so many different tangibles and variables to this fight. So, no matter what happens, it's going to be probably another historical boxing match. You know, as far as boxing fans are concerned, a fight that we can go back and watch, you know, later on. Because something's going to happen. You know what I mean? It's just too much build up to this fight. Something's going to happen on fight night. And, um... Me personally, I think Deontay Wilder going to get the victory come fight night. You know, that's my personal opinion. But like I said, y'all hop in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about all this Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury talk. Um, do y'all agree with, like, Chris Colbert, Andre Ward, all these boxing pundits who are kind of looking at Deontay Wilder with the side eye, not really giving him a, a chance in this fight. Or do you rock with the people that are supporting Wilder saying, hey, man, we seeing footage. He looks good. You know, Evander Holyfield, respected world champion, saying something was wrong that night. Without a shadow of a doubt, something was wrong that night. You know, what, what side of the fence are you guys on? Um, but that's all I really got, man. I'm about to go ahead and knock out the rest of my work day. You know what I'm saying? It's blazing out here. It's probably like 100 already. But that's all I really got, man. It's your boy P. Slab Pack Boxing. You know what I'm saying? Home of Combat Sports. And Dial Hard Boxing fans. So y'all know what it is. And I catch y'all in the next one. But big shout out to my subs, my day ones, my new subs. And like I always say, y'all can check me out on IG at Loud Pack Boxing. You can check check me out on the Jab Effect. Me and my partner combo Breaker 99. 
on um, IG. You can also catch us on Facebook at the Jab Effect, where we just cover more combat sports. But um, that's all I really got, man. It's your boy P. Y'all have a good day, and I'm out.